Good morning, Paul Georgie from Allendale. It's uh, July 20th, 2010. Well, this morning we're uh, going to be lower here across the board in the grain market, and some of that influence is coming from the financials. Uh, Goldman Sachs uh, put out their earnings here and didn't quite meet the street's expectations. That's causing the dollar to uh, be sharply higher here this morning, and the stock market uh, down 77 as we speak. Uh, crude oil is also uh, lower here this morning, down uh, 56 as we uh, uh, put this presentation together. So uh, outside market influences combined with weather. Uh, weather, had certainly there's no dominating ridge uh, building at this point in time with uh, rain uh, scattered throughout the uh, Midwest here and temperatures uh, not quite as hot as uh, expected. So uh, weather is uh, certainly uh, giving us a corn crop that uh, is uh, in very good condition. USDA come out with their uh, crop conditions report yesterday, uh, increased the corn or excuse me, decreased the corn 1%, but still 72% good to excellent. Soybeans uh, increased 2%, and uh, that uh, up to the 67% uh, level of uh, good to excellent compared to the 65% a week ago. The other uh, fundamental news, uh, China is uh, next uh, shipment expected uh, of U.S. corn not until early August. Uh, there has some, been some reports out by uh, Chinese consulting agency that uh, they think that uh, China could import as much as 5.8 million uh, tons of corn next year, which uh, would be uh, certainly a, a very positive move here for the uh, for the grain markets. And I think we'll probably keep some underlying support in the uh, the corn market here. Uh, even though we, uh, we've got some weak uh, technical uh, indications right now. We're sitting right on the uh, support area in uh, December corn, around 385, 386. Uh, early uh, calls here, an overnight session, we were down as much as $0.06 cents in the corn. So uh, those are factors that we're going to have to watch very closely. Uh, we've got technical support, 385.5 is where we would uh, uh, attempt to buy it if... Uh, if you want to uh, take a chance on the long side uh, with risking just below that level and uh, the upside resistance 398 to the $4 area. In the uh, soybeans, uh, the uh, uh, negative financial news I think is uh, going to impact the soybeans here this morning. The uh, technical support is uh, in the November beans around 969 and a half and then again down at the 960 area. Uh, resistance 980 and uh, up again at the uh, 987 level. Uh, wheat market does have some uh, fundamental news, some positive news. We did have uh, Iraq come in and and uh, they bought 350,000 tons of wheat uh, overnight, but only 100,000 of that from the U.S. Uh, it is uh, encouraging, however. Also, uh, comments out of uh, Ukraine. The Ukrainian ag minister says that uh, they will uh, export only 6.7 million tons of wheat this year versus last year of 9.2 million tons. So that, uh, that could have a, an impact on the wheat market. Uh, and again, even though we've got a lot of negative things happening around us, uh, those kind of things could provide some underlying support in these markets. Over in the cattle trade, uh, choice cutout values were uh, up yesterday, 62 cents, uh, select up 38. Not uh, enough, however, when you look at what has happened here over the last uh, uh, week or so, we've dropped almost $2 in uh, cutout value while cash cattle market has increased. So uh, cut Packers' uh, margins have continued to tighten. They are uh, in the same situation in the hogs, where the Packer margins have uh, continued to tighten, and now they are cutting back on slaughter. They've got some plants will be closed here uh, today, actually, and then uh, a few more plants will uh, shut down, reduce shifts uh, later on in the week in order to uh, try to support this uh, meat price and uh, help their, their profit margins. 
Uh, cattle trade, we do have some major reports out this week on Friday at 2 o'clock. You've got the cattle inventory report. It's a, a report that comes out every six months. Uh, we've also got the uh, cattle on feed report that will be out at 2 o'clock on Friday. So uh, some major reports, but traders will more than likely uh, try to get positioned ahead of that. Uh, weather continues to be a factor for livestock. Uh, there's been reports of uh, some large death loss in uh, Kansas area because of the extreme heat and the lack of uh, air movement have caused some major losses at some feedlots out there and that's got to be monitored very closely and when you have death loss like this you also have reduced gains so uh, that's tightening up the supply of uh, market ready cattle could provide some support as we go ahead here in the next uh, few days and early into next week pork situation the same heat is affecting uh, production weight gain and uh, will uh, tighten up the supply of market ready hogs so uh, we've got uh, markets this morning in the livestock showing a little bit higher trade right now the uh, uh, cash markets uh, expected to be uh, steady to higher in both cattle and hogs uh, trading this week so if you got any questions give us a call 800-262-7538. Before I end here today, I also want to mention that uh, Rich Nelson will be on uh, Bloomberg News uh, TV here on uh, Wednesday. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Give us a call and get more details. Uh, and we wish you a very successful trading day. We'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.